Hi, I'm Holly Proctor. I'm the publisher of Inside Single Tree Magazine. Today, I'm here with Andy Ody, a real estate broker with Liv Sotheby's International Realty and our own exclusive video sponsor. <laughs> and Libby Swenson, the regional director of donor engagement with Love Justice International. This is a day that is very special to me because my publishing company, N2 Publishing, partners with a number of organizations around the world to fight human trafficking, of which Love Justice International is one. To date, our company has donated more than $13 million to fight human trafficking around the world. I'm super proud to be part of that organization and super happy to have you here today, Libby. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here and so honored to be a part of all of this. Thank yeah. you for having me. <laughs> yeah, and all I can say is, wow. Okay, when I read the article and the story of Asha, um, it, I knew that human trafficking is a big problem, right? Yes. Um, it's kind of the little hidden sometimes problem that a lot right. of people don't want to talk about. Yes. But it's important to share, especially about that story with Asha. Mm -hmm. and, and I had to even ask you before of, really, this is mm -hmm. what happened? And, and wow, that's, you know, again, share a little bit about Asha's story and also um, how you got involved with this, because it is an interesting story and a, and a purposeful one. Yes, yeah, thank you for asking. I uh, learned about human trafficking about 15 years ago. I didn't even know okay. that it, it existed. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that the problem of modern day slavery is greater than it's ever been. Today, there are an estimated over 40 million people living as slaves in the world today. That's more than any time in all of history. And human trafficking is the fastest growing criminal industry in the world today, with net profits of $150 billion. Wow. More Again, than drugs. another wow. More than drugs. It's more than guns. Yeah. That's more than it's the, the net profits. It's the dirty little secret. Yeah, it's it's terrible, yeah, yeah. and it, it, it's growing. You know, you think of drug trafficking, somebody uses a drug and it's gone. But a human yeah. can be used over and over and yeah. over again until they literally expire. And so it's a very uh, insidious crime in yeah. the world today. Yeah. And so that's what we at Love Justice do is we fight against human trafficking. And we've got a very specific strategy called transit monitoring. And what I mean by that is that we work in places of transit around the world. We work at bus stations, airports, mm -hmm. train stations, country borders. And what we do is we look for signs of trafficking. Mm -hmm. You know, anything that looks suspicious. For instance, why is this older man taking this young girl mm -hmm. from Nepal into India. Mm -hmm. Why are they crossing that bridge together? Yeah. And when our staff uh, see something like that, they'll just stop and begin asking questions. Where are you going? What are you doing? And we actually split them apart and ask the questions. Mm -hmm. And if she says, this young victim may say, well, I don't know this person, but he offered me a great job in India mm -hmm. so that I can send the money back home to my poor family that lives in a village, I can send that money home to help them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's so that her younger siblings can go to school. Right. But then we ask the alleged trafficker, you know, how do you know this person? You know, do you know, what are you doing? And he may say, oh, this is my cousin. The I'm taking her to up. meet family in mm -hmm. India, you know, so that's an obvious red flag. Yeah. So when something like that happens, then we will begin a long interview process because we are trying to collect data about what is going on in the situation. Yeah. So we keep them separated and we're asking the victim, how did you meet this person? What did they offer you? What was the salary? What will you be doing? It was just on and on and on. And when we finally determine that she doesn't know where she's going, she doesn't know this person, there's, he does, she doesn't even have her passport or her paperwork. Mm -hmm. We can then determine that this is indeed a trafficking situation, right. which is very serious. And so we then will work alongside of law enforcement, make an arrest of that trafficker, press charges, and then the victim, they will stay with us in a shelter 
for several days while we are educating them. We're calling their families. We're letting them know what's going on. We're educating the victim on what human trafficking is because they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They they're don't desperate. Know what's on the, yeah, yeah. They they're don't desperate. know what's on the other side. They, they really truly think that somebody cares about them and wants to help them in their life. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's it's... a big piece of the tragedy of it all. And how did you get into this? I mean, what yeah. brought you? Because Asha's story, again, I think yes. that was a big part of it, yes. correct? Yes, and Asha's story, which I know is the article that Holly uh, wrote for for yeah. this April edition, yeah. correct? Yeah. So I met Asha in India a couple of years ago. And so I went and I met with our team. We, we work in India. We're at a metro station, massive, massive metro station, 500,000 people coming through every single day, just in and out all over the place. So I met this woman and she began to tell us her story. And she said that over 20 years ago, she was living in a large city and was pregnant, was married, her siblings lived nearby, her family lived nearby, her parents, just everybody. But she said one day her husband just left her. And in her particular family situation, they blamed her yeah. for him leaving. And so they just said, we don't want to have anything to do with you. Your karma must be bad. And so they abandoned her. Mm -hmm. So she didn't know what else to do. And so she went to find her husband, found out he had gone all the way to Delhi, hundreds of miles away. Mm -hmm. So she traveled to Delhi to try to find him. Yeah. Out of desperation. Out of de complete yeah. desperation. You think of women in the world, you mm -hmm. know, just the lack of opportunities, yeah. the jobs, you know, the lack of medical care, yeah. so many things. So you've got a pregnant woman who has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. What's she going to do? Mm -hmm. She just thought, maybe I'll find him and maybe he'll take me back. So she wound up at the train station. And Delhi is a city of 30 million people. Yeah. It's hard for us to imagine that. It's more than... <laughs> Well, I don't even know this population of Colorado, but it's not 30 million, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. Well, and and not having anyone to yes. um, rely on and desperation mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. unfortunately bad people that yes. are out there taking advantage That's right. of That's the situation exactly and happened. it's basically what yes. happened to her and she wound up going yep. into a trafficking up. situation. She did. she did. And unfortunately in that story, I don't want to mislead anyone, it, that wasn't the you know, lives happily ever after no, kind of story. No, it was not. a sad story. Yep. Um, however, because of people like Asha, that that story is being told, yeah. then you're able to prevent the sad stories of being the ending story. Yes. You're preventing in which you have right. already, this year, how many people have you wound so up intercepting? So just in Delhi alone, our team has intercepted 800 people since we began working at this metro station. Yeah, which, yeah, you think, and that just not affects that one life, it can no. affect so many other oh lives because Asha had yes. a baby and that mm -hmm. affected that baby's That's life. Right. So That's it's right. actually a lot bigger number than, yeah, it's yes. a, the ripple down effect. Yes, it is. And it so, is. Um, and I know some other people probably curious, you know, this, ha this was India, right? Mm -hmm. And in India, an international. Mm -hmm. However, my understanding is you're getting ready, you're working on something? Yes, maybe? we are, we are. We're very, very excited about it. We do work in 19 countries around the world. We work in the developing world. So we're, we're in Asia, we're in Africa, and we do this very Because it is worldwide. Kind of, it's yeah. world, it's, it's everyone. global. Yeah. Um, but you know, people always ask us, why aren't you working in the United States? And there are many reasons for it, but one is the places where we work don't have the systems set up to mm -hmm. protect people. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, here in the United States, the FBI will run sting operations throughout the year mm -hmm. across the country mm -hmm. trying to rescue young girls out of trafficking. Yeah. That just doesn't happen, happen out, in most in places other. around the world. And people are so poor, yeah. you know, around the world that they are desperate to find yeah. any kind of work. So right. there's multiple reasons that we work in the developing world, but <laughs> we will begin a pilot in Anchorage, Alaska. 
very soon, within the next few months. We are, we are very, very excited about it. We've been working with tribal councils. We've been working with law enforcement. Uh, we're working with Alaska Airlines. We are working with local communities and partnering organizations. And we are going to begin transit monitoring work at the Anchorage, Alaska that's great. airport. So we're very excited about it. There, there's a huge trafficking problem. Well, that's what I, I didn't was even gonna, really yeah. realize that because I think Alaska just, it seems so out there. You know, which is why that they probably have them going yes, through there because right. of that reason. That's right. And yeah. the Anchorage airport is the airport for Alaska. Yeah. You know, the, the travel throughout the entire state, it's, it's just unique. You go to mm -hmm. some places by boat, mm -hmm. you know, or by. Just, yeah. Yeah. But not flying everywhere. So, yeah, yeah very interesting. Well, that's exciting about that news. We and, are excited. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Lo lots of good things. And. Um, you know, just, it's amazing. And it's mm -hmm. nice to hear too, that this is what the magazine has been backed up and, and very, very involved in contributing a lot of money because I'm sure mm -hmm. this is for um, the money that needed to yes. help in this and having international, but it affects everyone. That's right. Is um, a big undertaking. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so a portion of every advertising dollar, not just for Inside Single Tree, but for our publications all across the country, mm -hmm. goes to support mm -hmm. uh, human trafficking. So, yeah. and on a more local front though, we do have a fundraiser coming up, I believe in June. We are gonna have a fundraiser in June. It's gonna be one day of fly fishing mm -hmm. on June the 4th okay. um, at a ranch. And so, I can give you more information about that, Holly. We are very, very excited about it. But we also have some things that we plan on doing locally this yeah. summer, like through the Vale Valley yeah. as well, too. We'd love to put some events on. We've got a whole art collection as well, too, of people that love justice has intercepted from trafficking. We've got artists from all across the world that paint their portraits oh. so that we can tell their story. And so that's part of how we raise awareness I about the problem as well too. So stay tuned for Absolutely. things that we would like to do this summer in Vail Valley. <laughs> well, awareness, yes. awareness, yes. awareness. And that is the key is letting people just really understand and know that this is a a problem, a big problem worldwide that yes. is out there. And yes. the more people that are aware about it mm -hmm. and want to get involved, That's um, right. it just helps everyone. It's, yeah. Well, and that yeah. would be my um, question to you is if somebody here locally would like to participate in this fight against human trafficking, yes. aside from attending events, uh -huh, uh -huh. what other forms of participation or support can they offer? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, you can always visit our website mm -hmm. to learn more about our work and what we do. And it's just www.lovejustice.ngo. So non-government organization, lovejustice.ngo. And you can find out a lot more about our work mm -hmm. and what we are doing. Um, but you know, we always need people to help us raise awareness as yeah. well too. So, you know, these type of events that we want to have, we just want to let the community know that all lives, everybody, you know, we can all participate th in, in this in some yeah, way, capacity. whether big or small. And it really makes a difference yeah. in people's lives. Like the contributions of Into, it's a, it's a game changer yeah. for love justice, you know, for us to be able to do the work that we do on yeah. the ground, you know, yeah. with these people that have no idea who helps supports this back yeah. in the States. You know, mm -hmm. they just know that they didn't get trafficked. Yeah. You know, they get to go back home, but they don't know all the background work it yeah. takes, right? Yeah. Which is true in a lot of realms, mm -hmm. right. but that actually helps to keep them free. Yeah. And that's why we so appreciate it yeah. too. And the, the contributions and we're still wanting to grow, yeah. you know, grow and go. We want to go to new places, you know, new countries, new cities, yeah. all kinds of things. So we yeah. are in a place where we really want to grow as uh, an organization. Yeah, that needs that need more people to help have this stop. Those yes, numbers need to go down. That's right. Yeah, Absolutely. one one live at a time. Yes, yes that's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yes. well thank you for sharing that oh, story. Thank you and people so much. should read that story about Asha. It, it really is inspiring. So thank you Andy very much. Yeah. Thank you Libby so much for being here. Thank you. And Andy's right. The um, article will be in the April issue of Inside Single Tree, which should be out within a week or so. Yeah. Okay. Yay, very yes. exciting. Well, thank you for Thanks. being here. Thank you, thank you. very much. Bye.